Hey Collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United Star Raider Ferric. Uh, he is a redeco of Cyclonus. You basically going to see the same thing here that you saw before if you watched the previous two reviews of Cyclonus and his Armada. So, uh, of course, in the box come the instructions and the don't hurt yourself paper, so remember, don't hurt yourself. But, on that note, the box, um, and I think probably because it's an order from Walmart, as this is a Walmart exclusive, that the figure uh, be just plastic tied in rather than paper tied. I, I don't know why, but then again, it could be a mix of factory and seem to off and on, you know, see that. But the box is actually just very thickly, like it's thick, it's tough. So obviously, they asked us that, well, in, in addition to plastic strips or, you know, little ties why don't you also thicken up the box so this box is chunky um so of course here is he on uh, in his space plane mode on the front here here is he in his bot mode on the side here is the conversion of course star raider badge right here and um i'm going to the typical legacy united side nothing fancy going on there now um before you ask these things on the side here are not compatible with uh commander class Jetfire, um, his, his is a different peg, so yeah, it just I checked. <laughs> anyway, I he looks pretty good. Um, I mean, he is a clone, is of course with a different face sculpt and coloring, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I I dig it. I wasn't because I, I don't know really anything about the Star Raiders, but when they announced him, I was like, ah, oh, crap. I guess I want to get Star Raiders. So I ended up getting Thundertron. And I have him, and I have Lockdown pre-order because Lockdown is a animated character that I've always wanted to have one of. So, but uh, the fact that they're grouping them into um, the Star Raiders is fine. It's it's whatever. Uh, so these do come off, and uh, they are exactly the same except they're mirrored versions. And I just had a little five millimeter peg at the bottom there, and um, this is the same gun that the other two. Cyclonus modes received so no, Nothing new about that either and of course. Yeah, he can hold these pistols although they're very loose um, They barely Barely go into his hand, uh, but he can shoot up the place Okay, so anyway uh, Just a very short peg I'm kind of curious here before I go into conversion. Yeah, like the peg is half the length of the peg on the the proper gun uh, I was like, too bad they didn't add joints. Like, you can hook this up here and get, like, some type of better weapon. But, you know what? Hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I think Cyclonus... It was, like, uh, last couple of years when I would do, like, top ten Cyclonus was one of my top t uh, tens. And then I think after that was, like, Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron. But, uh, yeah, just, this is one of the most perfect figures. And no wonder they keep reusing the mold. And uh, to start conversion, we will open up the panel here in the back. Um... Ooh, wow, that is super tight. Like, wow. Like, super, like wow. Just, I know I'm going to keep saying wow, but that that, that was unexpectedly tight. Oh, this one too. Um, so, uh, if you saw the Armada review, um, you know, Cyclonus and his Armada, the uh, the the, purple, the dark blue one version, whatever, everything was super loose on him. Uh, so far, tolerances are pretty good on this guy. Oh, also, I wanted to point out before I get too far, he has the little badge on him. So, yeah, anyway, um, I'm not doing this in any particular order. I'm kind of just, like, winging it as it is. Uh, got to remember where certain things go. Although, I, I do swear you can take this off. Oh, is this not let you? Is he purely just arms? Oh, no, there he goes. Okay. It's like, whew, that would be weird. Flip this around. You get this. Do it here again. Um, it's just, it's so tight, I guess, and I'm, that's why I'm, like, questioning myself, like, they really bulked up this mold. There we go. I turn this one, close it up. Um, and of course, you can unfold the wings, because they, they fold just like Cyclonuses, of course. Uh, you want to make sure that this point and this point... Or together. Oh, okay, this is what I was thinking about, about what attaches to where. I don't know. It's been a while since I messed with Cyclonus. I literally put them onto the, the shelf and uh, I've only messed with technically twice, maybe three times. I don't know. Uh, wait, that's right. I did the um, 
there is a short, or no, maybe it's a, oh no, I did a video of the original movie, and then of course I had to do Cyclonus and his Armada. Um, yeah, so you, you can check that out somewhere on the channel, I think. Um, so anyway, just winging it. Make sure you get the arms hot, uh, far enough off. Actually, it might be easier just to turn them like this. It's going to let you do the, all the, uh, just, because you want it, want this to transition nicely. Because it'll come up. There we go. Um, I haven't pushed up the legs yet. I just realized that out of the box, the legs were a little bit more compressed than normal. So, yeah, because he's supposed to be like leg out like, like this. So, yeah, so already I'm like, oh, started off, I didn't pull them all the way out. But you know what? That's fine. Um, pull out the front, pull out the back. Uh, I probably should have done that before I flipped it. It's, yeah, there we go. Uh, flip this around. Flip this around. Oh, I like that. There's no other nose piece? Nope, okay. Okay, and then put this back together, and then flip this around. And this is where I'm going to have to sink the knees back in. So the knees, here's what the inside of that looks like. Uh, the knees are on a super tight joint, even on this version. Wow. Um, and you got to sink it in. Oh, that was a, it will be easier if they're separate. Uh, a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's just fighting against me. It is. I appreciate the fact that they tightened up everything, so that's really nice. Um, these. Hold on. Is this straight? Yeah, it is. Okay. These go over the legs. There we go. Oh, that's a lot more flush too. I mean, it's not as good. I mean, it's not as bad, I should say, as uh, Cyclonus. Uh, anyway. Uh, there is a peg and slot here, sink that, peg and slot there, sink that, and look at that bad boy. He has landing gear. Uh, let's see if I can get this one out. He has landing gear. But, I mean, look at that. That is, I love the colors, man. Brilliant, just... If you didn't know what you're looking at, you wouldn't know this was a robot before. So let's throw these on. Um, like that. And uh, like that. Very nice. And then, of course, we can throw this one on here. And this is one of the times where I wouldn't mind it like an under nose port. Just to have that come out under nose but it looks like it might obstruct the landing gear i don't know. i mean it's not like real wheels or anything but uh yeah that, that is good looking let's put these landing gears away um just very smooth pull these back out yeah because these are even tight too just to put them into place and uh well this one actually is fairly loose but Man, that, that looks so good. And that is Ferric. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.